Hey everyone, my name is Joanna. Thanks so much for checking out this channel. I'm really, really excited for spring. In Canada, we had a long winter. We had snow in April, and I'm just so excited for the sun to be shining. Um, my friend and I went shopping today. We went thrift store shopping, and I've done some spring shopping at some other stores, so I thought I would share it with you. I have a few other spring videos coming up. Our second year anniversary is in a few days, so I've got a video planned for that. So I hope you consider subscribing stick around and I hope you enjoy this video okay I went to the Gap a few times <laughs> there's a Gap factory I'm um, really close to where I live and I always forget to go there but I kind of rediscovered it and found some things I really liked the first thing I got from there I love I love wearing white in the um, spring and summertime so I was really excited to find this this top um, is a three-quarter length sleeve top it's an off-white color and you have lace over top and then a lining underneath there's just lace on the sleeves and then the lining covers the rest of the bodice I love the sleeves they're like the bell sleeve that's still really in for this season and then there's like scalloped edges you'll probably be able to see it easier in the try on portion of the video but the bottom is also scalloped along here which you'll be able to see and I really, really like it. I love wearing white and I love wearing lace. I think it's really pretty to throw on. You can wear it with just black pants or jeans or if you want to do like a colored pants and a white shirt, I think it's really cute. thing that I bought from the Gap Factory is something that I've wanted for a really long time but I've been way too nervous to try wearing and that is white denim. I got these, um, it's supposed to be cropped, it's a little bit long on me which you'll see because I'm short, I'm about 5'2", sometimes 5'2 and a half, um, but these are the regular straight crop from uh, the Gap. They're stretch and low rise. Um, but I find that they're really, really comfortable. They're also really thick. I was looking at white jeans at Old Navy and just the material and the way they fit, it was just a lot thinner and it was a little more see-through than these ones are. These ones are really thick. Um, I feel really comfortable in them because they're stretchy and I like them. So I got these in a 14, or the size actually is a 32 um, regular, but that's about the equivalent of a 14. And they were about, I think they were 69 something or $70. And the nice thing about the Gap Factory is that there's usually some sort of a sale on. So they were 40% off. Sometimes you can get additional coupons. Like if you sign up for an email, you get an additional 15% off. So I used that and that kind of paid for the taxes. So I paid about $40 for these, which is a little bit much for me. Um, not gonna lie, but the quality of the jeans were really nice and I felt like the fit was good. So I decided to go with them. The last thing I got from the Gap is, it's inside out, that's what it is. I've worn this already. It is a light purple, uh, it's like a t-shirt style but not material, like so. The sleeves are cuffed, which I think is really flattering, it hits at a really nice length. And then um, the sides kind of go up a little bit which I think is also really flattering. So I really like the short sleeve button down trend that's coming back for the spring and summer. Um, but sometimes I find with button up shirts, I get a little bit um, of pulling around the chest area and it doesn't always sit nicely. So I like this because there isn't any buttons. I bought this in a medium and that's not normally my size, but because it's kind of an oversized fit, I went a little bit smaller. that I have is from Reedman's and I think Reedman's is very underrated. I used to think it was kind of like an old lady store but I think they've really stepped up their game. They have a lot of really cute trendy pieces for the spring and summer. I will say it's expensive and I don't like shopping there without a sale or without just going directly to the clearance section but I found a really cute shirt and um, I would totally recommend checking it out for the spring and summer. So this is a light blue shirt and it has the white stripes. It's a V 
neck not too low like I wear it to work um, but I think it's really flattering the sleeves are so cute they are the three-quarter length sleeve and then they kind of bubble a little bit and have the little frill on the side which is still really in for spring and summer I think it's so pretty the print is really fun you have these big white flowers and they're outlined in black I think this is really cute I really like this shirt because I feel like I can wear it to work I'm a supply teacher and I feel like it's you know professional enough for the classroom I also feel like it's really fun and I can wear it to church or wear it um, you know going out for dinner or just you know on a regular day where I want to look cute oh this was I bought it um, buy one get one 50% off which really in my opinion it's not that great of a deal so I didn't I bought I returned the second shirt because I didn't love it and I thought you know I should because of the deal so this was regular $50 and I did pay full price but I've worn it a lot and I know I'm gonna keep wearing it to Pennington's which is a plus size store and they start at size 14 so if you're in that um, range I would totally recommend checking them out I don't love everything in the store but there are um, definitely things I've really liked that I bought from there I'm really really excited about this purchase and I'm gonna link it below because I've found it really hard to find um, a denim skirt and I finally found one that's really comfortable and that fits so if you are in the plus size range this might be uh, something you want to check out so this is a dark wash denim skirt. Um, you have pockets on the back and then pockets in the front that you can actually use. I hate when there's big pockets, like what's the point of that? Um, there isn't any hardware on it. I really like the um, button down, the, the skirts that have buttons down the front, but I hadn't really found one that fit, so I thought this one worked really well. The best part is there's shorts underneath. They're like a spandexy kind of, actually more, I think they're more cotton. They're like a cotton short underneath with maybe a little bit of spandex because they fit kind of like, you know, a gym short would, but they're so comfortable. Um, it's going to make it really easy to wear this skirt because you don't have to worry about it uh, maybe being too short because you'll have the shorts underneath. You don't have to worry about, you know, your legs rubbing together and being really uncomfortable because um, I know I've been there. So I'm very excited. It's so comfortable. So I'm only about 5'2", like I said, 5'2 and a half on a good day. Um, so I find that for the look I wanted, it's a little bit short, so I might get it hemmed um, in the future or something like that, but I really love the fit and how comfortable it was, so I decided to get it. I bought this in an X, and so in plus size, that's about a 14, because that's usually where the plus size um, ranges start. And this was, what was the price? Ba -ba -ba -ba. $58, which is expensive for me, trust. Um, it was $58, but it was 40% off. It comes to about four, came to about $40. Um, so today I went to Value Village with my friend Bethany, and we both spent, I think we both spent $35 each, and we got a bunch of stuff. I'm going to show you the clothing items that I bought for myself. I bought a few things for Liam and then some house house things, but I was so excited. So I love the pixie pants from Old Navy. They are like, I think they're like $40 or $50, and so I usually buy them when they're 40% off, but I found them at Value Village. So this is the Old Navy pixie pants. They're nothing too exciting, they're just black pants, but I love them for work. They're the easiest thing, like this and a blouse, one of the ones that I showed you, it's so easy for me to throw on in the morning. Um, this is the four, uh, size 14 regular. Usually I get the cropped, but for the price that I will tell you about now, it was, I'm like, I can, I can hem them or I can roll them or just deal with the little bit of extra length it is. So it was $5.99 and today was 50% off clothes. So I got these pants for like $3. Go and check thrift stores because you can find brand names there all the time. I also found these pair of Gap 
um, pants from Value Village. They were regular $12.99, so this came to like $6.50. But um, like I said, Gap pants are you can be like anywhere from like $40 to $70. So this was a great deal. These ones are cropped, which I like, and it, it works better for me because I'm so short. But they're, yeah, kind of the same thing. Black pants, and they're so easy to wear to work. just ripped my pixie pants from Old Navy and I was about to go in I was gonna go into the actual store to replace them which would have cost me like $40 but, but I got two pairs of pants for under $10 so don't forget to check the thrift store especially when they have a sale like 50% off okay the last thing that I got for spring are these sunglasses from the brand spring I really love the aviator look but I've never you know thought about investing in actual aviators. So I always just kind of buy a pair each summer. These were $13 from spring. You can do buy, I think it's buy two, two for 20. I'm sorry, but these were um, one of the cheaper ones I could find in the mall. Like even Old Navy had like 15, $20 glasses. So check out spring's accessories. I like the way they look on my head. I always check if I like that too. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for these and I, glad that I can find you know a pretty inexpensive pair of sunglasses that are still good quality all right and that is my spring haul thank you so much for watching if you like this video um, consider subscribing maybe check out some of my other videos I do have a few more spring videos coming up if you're interested in any of those and my husband and I are gonna go on our anniversary trip in a few days that he's surprising me with and I think we're gonna vlog that so um, stay tuned for that and I will see you in my next video bye